So that was my alms round. Um, not a usual alms round, I suppose. Um, and I don't always have people stop me. Um, I don't always have police officers stop me. And uh, so this was doubly unusual. Uh, it's almost as if I planned it, having talked this morning about one of the things I'm quote-unquote afraid of being police officers, and then right after that being stopped by a police officer. But he was really nice. Um, he probably has heard from people, or he's probably himself been, he claimed that there were other people um, wondering or concerned um, about who I am, but it's probably more him um, interested and, and or maybe even suspicious. But he was very friendly, very, you know, uh, overtly, um, you know, ostensibly, or how do you say, on the outside, he, he seemed friendly. And, um, you know, he just wanted to know what it is that I'm carrying around. And so I showed him my alms bowl. And uh, he said he didn't have a problem with, with what I'm doing. Um, but, you know, he said, I, you know, I have to understand that people are going to be con interested and, you know, anything new, people. Uh, become curious, and so I don't think it's a big problem. I'm really going to ma write this letter to the local newspaper. Um, hopefully, I'll write it this afternoon, and then you'll get a chance to. Um, um, I'll, I'll read it to you this afternoon. Um, why why we do alms round? Um, well, it's it's something that came from the Buddha's time, but. Uh, Without without dragging up the past or talking about the the tradition of it, um, the, the, there are some really obvious reasons as to why it's a, a a useful thing or a beneficial thing to do. Obviously, the benefits to to the monk themselves monk himself is is uh, should should be quite obvious. There there's incredible benefits to the the recipient. Um, I don't have to. Uh, work work for food or um, you know I don't have to make money I don't touch money um, I don't have to go s go cooking I don't have to keep food I mean it seems a lot like um, taking advantage of people in that sense and, and a lot of people think of it like that I've, I've heard people say that monks are lazy um, or so on and so if we're just asking what are the benefits why do you do that then obviously I, I don't think there's any question as to why one would do it if they were just concerned about their own benefit. I think the benefits for the people who are giving is probably less clear, especially for those people who aren't accustomed to um, you know, giving something on a daily basis or giving to people that they might not know. But you know, you really have to look at it in terms of of of, of being a religion, um, because we see in all all other religions people give. Uh, exorbitant amounts of money to, or seemingly absor exorbitant amounts of money to, um, to priests and ministers and so on, without um, a second thought. Um, you know, there's people who think that's uh, waste, wasteful as well. But um, if you if you compare the two, I mean, the difference between giving 10% of your salary to a priest or a minister and just giving food. Um, you know, like the, 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 a, a portion of the food that you make for yourself anyway. Or in the case of restaurants, you know, a, a portion of the food that they have on hand, um, which really doesn't cost that much to them anyway. It, it's, um, it's really, putting it, that, uh, putting it on that sort of a scale makes it seem like you're, it's not really of any um, uh, burden to the people. It's, on the other hand, it's in fact a, a wonderful thing for them to do. It's charity um, and supporting someone who you believe in. If you believe in a monk, if you believe that they're doing something good, then to give them something is is a is a wonderful thing for you. I mean, I've done it before myself. I do it often when I see monks. I put food in there. Well, on my birthday every year, um, I try to give alms to to a group of monks. It's um, it's something that makes you feel good giving to people. The Buddha himself was, was very uh, clear about this. He said the benefits of getting food you know, are one day of food, but the benefits of, of giving food uh, are immeasurable, you know, hundreds or thousands of times better because the benefit that you gain you keep with you and you keep it in your heart. 
when you do something good, when you help someone, when you give something, uh, you get a much greater benefit than the person who receives. So the alms round is something that I've done for my whole monk's life. I've, I've done it everywhere. I've done it um, in forests. I've done it in cities. I've done it uh, on a mountain, going up and down the mountain. Uh, I've walked many, many miles um, each day, you know, even today walking in the sun. This is, uh, I think it's hard to say that monks are lazy considering the, the rigid um, set of rules that we have to abide by. And that's part of the reason why we abide by the rules, because we, we acknowledge that we don't want to be uh, caught up in the world and yet um, we have no right to expect anything. Uh, we have no right to expect the luxuries of people who live in the world as a result. Uh, so, I mean, so sometimes it looks like I'm living in luxury uh, even as a monk. So, you know, I have uh, a computer and so on. Um, but there are so many rules that I have to abide by that make it really impossible for me to, um, to become caught up in these things or to, to, to become, um, you know, to, to b live a luxurious life. The, the clothes I own are the clothes that you see on me. I don't have a second set. The bed I sleep on is the floor. The food I eat, I eat one meal a day. So, um, you know, it's, uh, I really think it's, it's not much that you could, you know, point a finger at to say that, oh, look at the monk, he's getting uh, some free food every day because that's the only food I eat and it's being given out of faith it's being given purely with no um, no desire for anything in return simply for the, the, the sheer pleasure of being able to give something be able to help someone being able to support them for another day so it's the Buddha said it's like um, it's like a honeybee that goes and, and pollinates the flower and takes the pollen uh, harms neither themselves and, nor the nor the flower. Uh, the alms round is not where not something exorbitant where we're asking for anything huge or or out of hand, um, but it's enough to keep us alive, and it's something that keeps other people spiritually alive. It's something that's a support for their own spiritual development and a support for our spiritual development. So that's in brief what it means to go on alms round. Um, I often have my students follow me on alms round so they can understand it and appreciate it much more. I've had people uh, from from countries around the world uh, follow me on alms round and, 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 and literally break down and cry uh, when they see the, 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 the wonderful um, heartfelt gesture given by people, sometimes people who, who don't have um, much at all. I've been to places where people are, are themselves uh, living in, in difficult situations and yet they always give something, give a little bit, you know, something it's uh, the food, um, the food that they give is not a lot, the food that they have is not a lot, but uh, they want to share and uh, they feel great and they feel happy and they're smiling um, and it's really a wonderful thing so I wouldn't I wouldn't change it. I myself am a generous person. I don't feel ashamed to say that. So I don't feel bad when I receive the gifts from other people because I myself give gifts. Uh, I don't think there's anything. I, I just somehow think that people often misunderstand or, or you know, it's a foreign thing. You know, this is why I'm being stopped by the police. So I think it's good to explain these sort of things. I hope that helped to clear some things up and uh, make it clear a little bit more, a little bit more clear about what I'm what I'm doing and how my, I live my life. So that's uh, the latest in this uh, life in a day of a monk.